Yeah, uh, and if you want to look at, you know, the tropics uh, in a positive light, it's going to cool our temperatures down this weekend with the rain moving in. Uh, so that's something to look forward to if you want to try to find something good there. But uh, we could definitely see some heavy, heavy rainfall. Now, today is going to be dry. It's going to be hot, but it's not going to be as humid today. So anything you're doing outside today, preps, getting ready for any flooding rain, overall, not a bad day. It'll be in the 90s. It'll feel like the upper 90s. So we may stay shy of the 100 degree heat index values. All right, here is the latest on our invest. It is still an invest. It really, really has not come together any more than what it's done over the past couple of days. It is still uh, just a broad area of spin. And if you look at satellite there, you can see spin. These are going to the north. These are going to the south. You've kind of got a broad low pressure here and look where all the storms are well displaced from the center of that spin. So this is far from organizing much more than what it is right now. National Hurricane Center does, does still give this a likely chance of becoming either a depression, could be a tropical or subtropical depression, and then a tropical storm still not out of the question. That's just not as likely at this point just because it's not coming together very quickly, but we'll watch trends today. There is plenty of showers and storms up in here, uh, so we'll be keeping an eye on that and it is all generally heading up towards the north. So yes, the center of the spin may be here, but all this is traveling with it and it's going to be heading up towards the Gulf Coast from Louisiana all the way to the Florida Panhandle and it's going to get here by tomorrow. Now, yes, the Gulf waters are warm. They're always warm. That's not a factor really here. What you're looking at are the dry air is the dry air and wind shear and there is going to be some wind shear and there is plenty of dry air in the Gulf of Mexico right now. So you've got lots of dry air on the north side and on the west side of this and then look at all the moisture on the east side. This is what we call a lopsided system, meaning here's a center, but all the rains displaced to the east and that's how this is likely going to play out the remainder uh, of going through the next couple of days at least. So as we put this in motion, this is tonight. Notice still not very organized, but a little bit more organized there. All the moisture still on the east side. Some of that dry air getting wrapped up in this. That'll keep it from organizing too quickly. Uh, and that's why, you know, a depression's likely, but maybe not a tropical storm. The environment's just not great. Now, as we go into tomorrow, look at this. There's the slug of moisture coming in, but we got dry air coming up in this thing as well. So that could certainly be a factor on how much rainfall we get, depending on how much of that dry air gets entrained in this thing. And now uh, you can see on the west side, there's hardly a thing going on. So if you're to the center and west of this center, you might not get much rainfall from this. East of it, you might get a lot. So that's how it's looking right now. Now, here's what we're looking at. As we look at, <clears throat> excuse me, our uh, simulated radar, our forecast model showing the showers building in as we go into tomorrow. And the models are being pretty consistent with showing the more widespread heaviest rain moving in by Friday night. There it comes and going through Saturday morning. But as I said, this thing's going to get some dry air wrapped up into it. So eventually we're probably going to start to see some breaks in this rain as we go through Saturday as that dry air gets uh, kind of sucked up into it. That means it'll be more of a scattered rain Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. So a lot of people have been asking me, should I cancel plans for the weekend? They're part of the weekend may be salvageable uh, with regard to breaks in the rain. Now we're still probably going to get a lot of rain from this. If that falls Friday night and Saturday morning like that, we could definitely see a widespread seven to 10 inches in a few are uh, in spots and even a few spots can get over 10 inches and then notice rainfall totals drop off quite dramatically as you go to the west and as you get west of that center, you might not even pick up an inch or two of rainfall. So that's how we're looking with that. Now forecasting wind speeds, there might be some gusty winds in this, of course, if it's a depression or a weak storm, but overall the winds are not going to be a huge factor. We could definitely see some gust over 40, 45, 50 miles an hour in those strongest bands uh, and those strongest showers and storms that move on through. So that's what we'll be looking at with the winds. Of course, strong onshore flow means we will see coastal flooding as well. That'll likely start Friday night, go through Saturday and Sunday. So our low lying spots could see tides maybe up to three feet above normal, but rainfall definitely our main concern with this winds and a few isolated tornadoes. Not as big of a concern, but you know how it is. If you get a gust of wind, it can knock down a tree limb, cause some power outages. So that's how we're looking right now. The heavy strain could start to move in by Friday night, early Saturday. Parts of the weekend do look like we'll have some dry slots here in there and staying hot and humid into next week.